There are some of us here in this crowd who remember the 1980s and the mass protests that took place then against the policies of the Thatcher government. And there are some of us who hoped that those days were gone. But we're back again with a Tory government. Now, we shouldn't be surprised that we have a Tory government that wants to cut public finances. We shouldn't be surprised we have a Tory government that wants to attack public services. We shouldn't be surprised we have a Tory government that wants to privatise. We shouldn't be surprised that we have a Tory government that wants to take services out of the public sector and force volunteers to take them on. But what the people of Wales are angry about is the Lib Dems are even more enthusiastic than the Tories are. The cuts that are being proposed are too deep and too fast and too savage. They will affect not just public services in Wales and the rest of the UK, but they'll affect their entire economy. We know that the economy shrank in the last quarter, and this is before the cuts even start to take place. And you know, you would swear through reading some of the papers that the economic crisis of the world was caused by public sector workers. What's happened to those people who caused the problem in the first place? What's happened to those bankers? They're still getting their bonuses. The banks are still making enormous profits. Have they paid their fair share for what they did? I say they haven't. And you can't say to public sector workers, you've got to make your sacrifices if those people who caused the difficulties in the first place are allowed to get away scot-free. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And you know, there is an alternative. We've shown in Wales, despite receiving substantial cuts in our funding from the UK government, despite receiving actually heavier cuts than Scotland and Northern Ireland, even though we were underfunded to begin with. We've shown we can protect health. We've shown we can protect education. We've shown that there's an alternative to slash and burn. And we've shown that the last thing you should do when the economy is fragile is siphon money out of public services, those services that people depend on so much. We've shown that there's an alternative to making people redundant, an alternative to the closure of the passport office, an alternative to the closure of the driving standards agency. We've shown that in Wales there'll be no compulsory redundancies in the Assembly Government, despite the difficult financial times. I'm proud of the fact that there's a memorandum of understanding that's been agreed between the WLGA and the Wales TUC that says that everything will be looked at first before compulsory redundancies. There is a different way and a better way. So as we meet here today, we send the message out to not just the rest of Wales, but to the rest of Britain, that where we have a government in London that's determined to destroy public services, that's determined to make cuts that will affect so many people who depend on social services, who depend on hospitals, who depend on teachers, that we will not accept that in Wales. We will fight against that in Wales. So let the message go out from here today, that there is an alternative way. There is a Welsh way, but let's show the Tories and Lib Dems there's a better way for the whole of Britain. Thank you.